This is Saharan dust as it created an orange haze over downtown Miami. So Saharan dust is basically like tiny particles of almost like beach sand. Uh, but this is dust that's actually wafted in the air. It's coming all the way from Africa um, and it makes its way across the Atlantic, across the Caribbean and affects us here in South Florida. Cassandra Gaston took us into the lab where the dust has been studied and archived at the University of Miami Rosenstiel School. We'll use instruments like this to chemically fingerprint and assess things like are these samples toxic? Are these samples going to be bad for us to be breathing in? Some of their research is tied to hurricane season, looking into how dust might hinder or help tropical systems as they form. So there's sort of these two sides of it, right, is that the dust is affecting clouds, which might enhance storms, but then at the same time, uh, it's also bringing this dry layer of air um, that would reduce the moisture content and, and, and basically weaken cyclogenesis. They capture the dust in Miami and in Barbados. Behind Cassandra, you see that tall tower while a pump is sucking in air across filter paper. You can look at this day, right, where we had a lot less dust. You can see it's a lot lighter in color. Um, compared to this sample, right, where you can see that really dark tinge. Even showing it to us in a loose form after washing it and combusting the paper. We look at what's their fingerprint, where are sa those samples coming from. They contain nutrients that might affect things like harmful algal blooms, that might affect asthma, human health. Okay, remember that vial of Saharan dust you just looked at? Well, this wall contains samples dating back to the 60s. There are thousands of them in these boxes. This box of samples, it comes from Miami and it's older than I am, so a couple decades. Um, so as far as we know, it's the longest um, continuous uh, record of this dust. And it's, it's basically giving us uh, an idea of not just you know how the dust varies year to year, but how do things like climate oscillations, both natural and climate change, um, affect the dust transport? And also how does the dust in turn affect climate and weather? Now on average, the dust can stick around throughout August impacting the season, but the question is what will happen this year? For that answer, stick with us here on Fox Weather. In Miami, I'm Brandi Campbell, Fox Weather.